So, let's just have a quick recap of our scenario. We are opening a very local and small um, ice cream shop. And we've got an investor who's given us some money to help s open up the ice cream shop. And we've now completed a survey to find out what people's favourite flavour ice cream is. And um, This gives us an indication of when we open the shop, how much of each particular flavour we need to have. So obviously, from our small table here we can see that we need to have lots of vanilla lots of strawberry because they tend to be the favorite flavors so our investor wanted to know what the results of the survey were now currently with our spreadsheet what I would have to do is I would have to get a computer in front of the investor and be able to show them this table here however what I can do is I can output the information in a slightly different and more easy to read way so what I can do, I'm going to go to insert here and I'm going to choose column and these are the different charts that we've got available but I'm going to choose column and I'm going to choose the first 2D column that comes up. Now at the moment you can see here it doesn't look anything like a chart. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to here select data and I'm going to select the data source so that it starts to build up the chart. Now what I've got here is legend entries. So what I'm going to do is go to add. This is going to be the information that is displayed in my chart. So I'm going to go to add. And the series name here, if I click on this little icon here for select range, what I'm going to do is choose the series name. Now the name of this series, this here, each bar is a series. So this first bar is going to represent strawberry. So I choose strawberry and I click on this little icon here to go back. What's the value of the strawberry? Well I know this 7 so I click on this little icon and click on the 7. And there we are look we can see strawberry and 7. Press OK. I'm going to go to add series name this time is vanilla. Series value is 11 click on this little icon and press OK and what you do then is you add and you repeat that process until you've done it for all of the ice cream flavors and their amounts and you should find then that your chart represents that so I'm gonna leave you to do that and in the next video we're gonna look at labeling the chart appropriately so that the investor knows exactly what they're looking at and what the data represents